Fron YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. Well, Kevin, the time has come. Right. We're walking up to the track with safety equipment. Yeah. And a Dale truck. We're being smart about our adventure here. Yeah. Coop, did you check out some of the new and improved Dale truck? I looked a little bit at it, but Kevin did such a good job, you can't tell. <laughs> unless you open the hood. I know. So. And or the trunk. And or, or the, yeah, the fuel you know cell. struggles with filling over the hump down? You don't have to do that. Oh, yeah, did I tell you the freaking gas tank I was tank actually works. about to ask. Of course, our boy Kevin has had to hook that up, and the vent is is working now too, Coop. Yep. Wow, so it does all of its what it's supposed to do. Stuff. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Wow. So, guys, we are here at the Freedom Factory today. Got to say, grass is looking on point. You know, just gonna throw that out there, and uh, we're gonna rip the Dale truck. If you didn't see our last video, we put this thing on the dyno. You should definitely go check it out. My buddy Kevin from KSR Fab, he is here, and. Uh, we're both gonna give it a go today. Kevin did a ton of improvements to the truck that you also have to check out in the last video. And uh, we think it's ready for its first rip at the Freedom Factory. As ready as it'll ever be. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how it does. Now I will say that our goal today is to not break any world records. Our goal today is to enjoy the truck and have fun, but we don't wanna destroy, you know, a truck like this that's sure. got some historic value and you know, it's cool. It would suck to really just flood this thing up. So we just want to have fun, rip the truck, send it, you know, do it for Dale, and put it away at the end of the day, you know? It's, it's so cool different noises. than yeah. anything we've had out here too. So like, mm -hmm. it's gonna be a learning curve to that. For sure. Never shaking the truck down. We don't know yeah. how the brakes are gonna act once they're hot and stuff, but. Like these tires aren't really circle track tires. These are drag radial tires. Yeah, all the way around. <laughs> yeah. Radial. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a 900 horsepower truck, so it's got a drag radial for fun stuff, you know. But uh, out here, we just want to have some good. We want to have some good times with it, but we want to use this truck for a variety of things and trying to, you know, go as fast as we possibly can. Potentially putting the truck in the wall is not on our agenda, so we're gonna we're gonna let it rip. But it's exciting. It's freaking nerve wracking, and uh, we're gonna definitely have a good time today. So the old Dale truck. It's first time actually ripping at the Freedom Factory because I didn't rip it at all during the video. Yeah, I putzed it around yep. during the shoot while you were flying around. We're gonna have some fun. Yeah. All right, you ready? The uh, cold start on point out of the trailer. Very nice. All right, I'll suit up. Let's do this. I don't think when they put the seat in here originally it was for a six foot six giraffe. <laughs> Adolescent giraffe. <laughs> you are very tall, sir. Oh yeah. Well, Kev. Man, you sit so close to this damn steering wheel. Yeah. I'm gonna have to move the seat. Give her a good tug, make sure she don't come loose. There you go. Yep. Alright. See you on the other side, brother. So do I need the fan switch on or it'll all come on? No, it's all automatic. Dang, you're good. Like the, the fan, the water, the water pump comes on as soon as the engine runs. Fan one comes on at 180, fan two comes on at 195. Okay. So I'll we'll cruise around, get some temp in it while you guys go over there. Okay.
was great. It's so fast. <laughs> it sounds really good. It's so fast. <laughs> like it is, it's actually it's kind of scary. Yeah. It's it's just, it doesn't have a front sway bar on it, so that's, that, that's a I big was, help. I was going to say, no front fair. sway bar is yeah. sketch. But I'll tell you this. It feels like you're, it feels like you're in a 900 horsepower drag car and then you have to take a turn. <laughs> And then it's like, okay, here we go again. 900 horsepower. It, dude, like, even though it's only making 630 on this setup, it yeah. feels so powerful because it's like right at the power range of an NA motor and it just, yeah. Rah! yeah. Dude, it's it's nasty. Uh, the, the only thing is, dude, this oil pan's not going to work. Oil starving? Right at like two and a half laps, it starts to oil starve. Like, gotcha. it's, it's down in the, like, I saw the light flicker and I looked down, it's like 20. Okay. And that's just like, yeah, that's no way no. I would do a couple laps. Like, you gotta rip it, obviously. Yeah. And then, uh, we'd probably have to call it and get a pan on it. Which okay. is no big deal. Yeah, it's easy to get a pan. I mean, there's cool. there's tons of room for a pan. Yeah, there's tons of room for an oil pan. But, damn. It is savagely fast compared to all the... Ooh, I got my little switch. Oh. Just watch the water that move! <laughs> yeah. Dude. That's sweet. I can't believe the handling. It doesn't even feel sketchy. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Like, you'll feel it. It doesn't feel sketchy it at feels all. pretty planted. Remember before? Yeah. How it would basically drive you? Like, when, I, when I kind of squirted around here, it just did something different on throttle to off throttle to braking. And I was just like, ooh, this thing just, just got a, a mind of its own. It's amazing. And now it's like, it'll, it's predictable. Oh, dude, it's, it's drivable. Yeah. It's drivable. It's so different. So, well done. But you got to take a rip. Okay. All right. <laughs> you uh, fit a little bit better in there than I do. I think you're born for it, dude. This is you. So, guys, here's the deal with the, uh, I could only go a couple laps before it started to oil starve and not like drop to zero oil pressure. We're talking like the low 30s and then it, right when you dive into the corner, you could see it start to fall towards 20 and the light would come on, the warning light that Kevin set up, did its job first time around and uh, then now we know. So the thing is we have a drag racing oil pan on here because you know, a freaking bunch of drag racers. But that's no big deal because there's plenty of clearance on this cross member. So what we'll do is get a road race oil pan for it, slap it on there, and uh, shouldn't be a problem from there forward. Basically, this thing probably holds like what six quarts, yeah. And we need it to hold like eight or nine. It's, and then yeah, it's more about shit. the control more than anything. Some trap like just, doors. Yeah, trap doors to keep it because you think you know if if you've got a box where the pickup is sitting in, the pickup's here. You turn that way, all the oil is going to follow the G-forces yeah. and go to the far side of the pan. and Away from the pickup. Just like the fuel cell was doing with the pickup in the corner. So, okay. how do you like that no fuel starvation? Dude, that was cool. No fuel starvation <laughs> mode. So. That was nice. I love how we had the tank set up so it was the opposite side. Like, these things are designed to go left. Yeah, you and turn we had left the and it shuts pumps up. on the left side of the tank. So, if you go left, there was no fuel pressure. <laughs> Absolute classic right there, folks. So... All right, Kevin's getting suited up. I feel like I've been, oh, look at that. <laughs> You're missing something, brother. Yeah. There, you'll find that the steering wheel is large. I think this is a push around steering wheel, not a race, race around steering wheel. Might be. Some of the guys liked really big wheels though. All right, are you all set? Should I go up in the tower? Yeah, I'm good. All right, brother, have fun. Thank you. It sounds pretty great. A little high rev and LS action yeah. for you. Shirt of the day? Texas Speed? Dude, perfect shirt, for, shirt. perfect shirt for today, Rep, in Texas Speed. Our boys. Wow, what a view, dude. Fire and old.
magnificent. So great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I saw you trying to drift it. That was awesome. <laughs> Fast on the straights, right? Yeah, it's awesome. And like it loses no power in between runs. Like each oh, lap yeah. is just faster and faster, it feels yep. like. Yeah, I noticed like if you really dive it in, you saw, yeah, you got the warning light. And I was like, ah, dang it. Yeah. I even tried changing the line up higher just to that. see if I could get it to, to go farther without, uh, without oil starving. But. Definitely better to uh, chill out though than mess up our motor yeah 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 this thing's great so, <laughs> how good does it drive and the brakes everything oh dude it's it's so much better than it was <laughs> like yeah. the, the last time i was in here in it yeah we we have some improvements to make but i mean it's a massive improvement yeah. over what it was i mean kevin I think you, you're right about the oil cooler too yeah if we did a new uh new pan do an oil cooler at the same time just so we have it and yeah we could be it's in really good shape. Oh, really? Yeah. It's already theirs? Yeah. So we just got to run lines to it. Yep. Oh, that's easy enough because we can put some AN fittings on the pan and. It's got shrouds and everything right to it. Oh, dude, what are we doing? I mean, a new pan too should already yeah. have all the capabilities to put mm -hmm. on. It. I saw Kevin do them, now I got to do something, dude. Yeah. This looks like too much fun. It was a tease. All right. It's windy. It is very windy out here. Dude, so this switch turns on the fans, water pump, and everything. So when you shut it off, you have to shut it off hot. Ah. Uh, Devin, I gotta awesome. say, you outdid yourself, man. Thanks, buddy. Dude, the truck <laughs> drives so good. There's never a chance I could have just did what I did. Yeah. I mean, dude. Complete control over it. It yeah. is night and day while you've done to this truck. So. Awesome. Guys, big thanks to our buddy Kevin. Dude, it's not even hot, really. I mean, no. he's got 200. Yeah, that's so the it's like. It's yeah. a big radiator in this so that, thing. So that temperature is actually in the radiator, not what's in the engine. So like that'll read warmer than the engine. Oh really? Like once it's got, yeah, because it's what it's doing is it's putting the water into the radiator. Yeah. And we're sucking the cold water in, you know, that's before it really gets cooled down in the radiator. Yeah, this look at that scoop. That's it. Look, it's already down to 190. 
and dropping fast because it's just water pump, big radiator, radiator fans. You can see it's it's almost a 185. That is a really nice switch to have. Yeah, we should also see uh, see if the belt stayed on. I mean, oh, it, I, I saw it charging, so it's on. Well, it wasn't. The steering never got hard. So. The only thing that it could be is maybe like off a rib. But... Oh, oh, look at dude, that! Good, dude, you yeah. killed it. Look, nice. there's not oil everywhere. <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> wow, that all fits so nice in there. That's nice. Hey, dude, like the that? the best part is it drives so good now, but it turns left just as good. It's actually. Yeah better than it was and it turned left you know it was set up set up before but now i mean with the right shocks and everything it just feels so much better there's no oh, yeah, the, i bet the shocks made a big difference yeah so um, you really killed it man and everything looks so period correct too I like yeah, that the air filter so the motor's yeah. down like two and a half yeah inches. you know he actually lowered the motor mounts so that the it would clear a uh, air filter that's a good idea and then look at the pizza he made for the catch yep. can. I like that. This, I love this switch, man. So smart. You know, we need that switch on our burnout cars because they're so hot when we pull off and kill them. Yep. You know, you just leave that on. And, and it's still, I mean. It's just ripping heat out of there. I mean, that's one of the things I do. Like, you don't have to turn that on when you're using the car. Yeah. Like, it all, it's all controlled by the Holly. And but then, when, then you, when you want to come back and cool it off in the runs, flip one switch and it turns on all three things. <laughs> and... Just super dude, this thing is pumping heat. Dude, it just handles so good now. Yeah, the tires. The goal has been achieved to make it a usable vehicle. Nicely done, brother, my man. All right, guys, a big thank you to Kevin. Please take a chance to go over and check out his YouTube channel. Yeah. He's got some YouTube, stuff starting. So. Yes, sir. Facebook, Instagram too. Yeah, Instagram, not and, pretty uh, much, but I'm on Instagram. <laughs> taking the Elko home with you too. Yeah, so. yeah. Be interested to get that thing back with some wiring in it. Yeah, and we're we do a lot with drag racing, so I'm excited. And it's uh, I know it's going to be fun to have you in, involved in something from the start. Yeah, I agree. That could that's a big head start for us. So, mm -hmm. all right, guys, that's it. The Dale truck is back, and it is a complete ripper. Has zero it had zero issues throughout this whole thing, besides one stuck injector, which is yeah out of your control. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's freaking it, man. Big thanks to Kevin, and uh, that's it for now, guys. I'm just pumped up. I can't wait to drive this thing. It's uh, definitely street-worthy, too, so I'm going to take it out for some cruises. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.